Okay, so today we're releasing the pre-alpha and it will be released everywhere, it will be free, the app, but it will only be released to a couple of people that have actually signed up for the pre-alpha testing, which you can sign up to by just emailing me at cal at caltech.com. This is only like the pre-alpha, so this is not the full app, this is not even the minimum viable product of the app. This is just a very early version and I just want to get it out so that some people can test it out so I can get some feedback early on about some of the bugs of the app. But that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna to try to release it both to the Google Play and to the Apple App Store. It will essentially be available everywhere. And we'll see how difficult that actually is. From what I remember, the Google Play thing is super easy, but the Apple thing is very difficult. All right, so I'm very close now to actually having it released, I think. It seems to be working very well for the Google Play Store so far, so... But now I'm gonna go eat. All right, done with breakfast, and now I'm gonna get back to publishing the app. And I've been following a tutorial on YouTube for how to publish a Flutter app to Google Play. He has done a really good job with that tutorial because so far I haven't run into any issues at all. It's just been working for me, which seems a bit too good to be true. I always end up running into some sort of problem. And right now I'm just waiting for that problem to occur. That will inevitably occur, I think, and that will take me all day to fix. Uh, unless this is the first time ever that I publish a Google Play app and uh, there's no error at all. All right, so now the app is up on Google Play at least and waiting for the approval. So we'll see how many days that takes. So, and I've selected about 20 people that uh, it's gonna get a notification, I think, about the app being ready for them to test. And now I'm just gonna go to the gym quickly before I tackle the Apple upload, which uh, from past experience is way more difficult than the Google one, so. But usually because of the approval process, the approval process for Apple just takes ages and they're really like careful about what they approve and what they don't. Whereas Google is not that careful. So now let's go to the gym. Something that I've been doing lately at the gym is trying to use the time in between the sets to learn new things. And this is an idea that came to me from reading the book Atomic Habits. When you're sitting between your sets, you're usually not really doing anything and sometimes even looking for things to do. So I decided to start using this time instead. And lately I've been learning about neural networks over on brilliant.org. Brilliant is an awesome tool for learning about STEM interactively. And doing this at the gym works so well because Brilliant is really good at creating interactive and hands-on courses. So in between the sets, it's very convenient to go through a lesson and do a couple of the exercises. Brilliant's course is something that I highly recommend that you try out. And since they are a long-term partner of me and this channel, you can get a seven-day free trial of Brilliant Premium using the link in my description. 
So you can go test out this course completely free and see what you think, which I highly recommend that you do. Brilliant also has other courses as well, courses that will teach you everything from how to code with Python to neural networks to scientific thinking. And I really can't recommend Brilliant enough, and I'm really proud to have them as a sponsor for this channel. Again, you can get a seven day free trial of Brilliant Premium using the link in my description. And right now you also get 20% discount on an entire year of Brilliant Premium. So go check it out at the link in the video description. All right, that was like a super quick workout. And now I think I'm ready to actually tackle the Apple uh, release as well. Hopefully it won't be too bad. All right, so this is a couple of days later and now let's show you that it's now available on Google Play for all of the testers. Okay, so this is what it looks like on Google Play and uh, I can now download it on Google Play and now I can just press install and open. All right, let's try to sign in. Okay, so as it turns out, it seems like there's some sort of error when I try to log in using the app. I tried to do that on, on the computer, so it's, it works on the computer for some reason, but it doesn't work on the actual launched app. I'm thinking it might be a problem with like, the Google Play, because I'm using the Firebase for actually signing into the app, but I think maybe there's something about like, that you need to change for it to be uh, production ready. So it might be that it's not allowing uh, for production type of sign-ins. Uh, I hope that could be the problem. We'll see, I'm gonna try to fix it. And then uh, the thing is I, I need to like re-upload it before I can actually test it on my phone because if I test the debug version that I'm using on my computer then it just works on my phone so it takes like a couple of days just to might well maybe it doesn't take a couple of days because I was using the wrong link before so it might not actually take a couple of days but if it takes like a day or so for it to actually be ready for me to download on the app on the phone then it's kind of gonna be a really arduous like uh, testing process because I'm gonna have to like upload something, wait a day, test it, see if it works, didn't work, upload it again, test it. It's like a really slow process of testing or debugging this problem. Okay, so I might have a solution actually and it seems like when you upload to Google Play, the SHA-1 or SHA-1 key uh, basically updates and this is something that you need to change in uh, Firebase for it to actually recognize the app. So essentially there's a key in the app that doesn't correspond or in Google Play that doesn't correspond to the one on Firebase and that's why it doesn't allow me to use uh, the sign-in thing. I think that's what it is. Uh, hopefully it will work. We're going to try it right now, and then we'll see if it actually works. All right, so now I've added the new fingerprint, and hopefully the new key essentially will uh, make this work. We'll see. I don't know if it updates this quickly, but we'll see. Yes! Oh my God, thank God for that, because that's freaking, oh. This has been plaguing me for like the whole weekend, essentially, because I've been like hoping that this is going to work and then, or like, because I've been basically just like thinking about like, okay, how much time am I going to have to spend trying to solve this problem and how long will it take? But now monday morning it worked and i'm so happy about that because i literally i've spent like 10 minutes on this so that's like as good as it's gonna go for me i think so i'm super happy about that now it seems like people can actually test the app which is awesome and i'm super excited to get some feedback on it now we're gonna get back to 
the Apple uh, upload, which again, that's probably gonna be a bit of an issue, but we'll see. So instead of getting straight back to work, I decided to reward myself by going to see the Batman again for the second time. Really enjoy that movie, so that's what I did. That was the second time for me watching that movie. Really like it. Good morning, this is actually the day after and yesterday I spent the evening just following a tutorial essentially on YouTube again. Great tutorial, this girl does a really good job explaining exactly how to upload a Flutter app to the Apple App Store. Highly recommend checking it out, I'll link it in the description, I'll also link the Google Play one in the description as well. But yeah, she does a great job explaining that. So I was just following that and got it to upload. It actually wasn't an issue at all. I, I just went to bed after I started uploading it because it said it could take like a couple hours for it to approve. But I woke up this morning and tried it out and it actually works. So that's really good. It turns out that the, for test flights, so actually like beta testing an app in Apple App Store, you don't need to have the review, so that process is a lot faster. It's essentially like pretty much instant as far as I understood it, uh, which I didn't know yesterday, so that's why I went to bed. That means that the app is now available everywhere. It's free, but it's only available to the beta testers. I've sent out emails to everyone that is a beta tester, so if you haven't received an email yet, then hang in there, I will email you as soon as we have the next update coming, which will be coming soon. And yeah, now I guess like the future videos will be me trying to fix some of these uh, urgent bugs that are coming up. I've already seen some bugs actually, so uh, that will be the next video's topic. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see what you guys have to say about the app and uh, looking forward to getting some feedback on it. And also kind of scared about like what will go wrong because I know you guys will be able to break the app. So uh, yeah, hopefully it won't be too bad, but I'm expecting a lot of like really weird bugs to show up, which will be interesting. If you want to sign up for beta testing or pre-alpha testing, you can send me an email at cal at caltech.com and uh, just title it beta tester and I will check it out. Also, if you haven't seen, I've created a podcast which is live on a channel called The Exit Strategy. The podcast is called The Exit Strategy. It's also available everywhere that you find podcasts. So if you want to check that out, it'll be linked in the description. And here is a quick clip of the latest episode. Enjoy. <laughs> 